What's going on guys? Stefan over at SNE's Garage. We're here today with a 2012 Hyundai Sonata Turbo with around 80,000 miles on it. And uh, I'm basically here to show you the importance of changing your transmission fluid. Um, this car is equipped with quote unquote lifetime transmission fluid. Um, I'm here to show you that that's not the case. I want you to pay attention to the color of the fluid in the sight glass. Right now, this is how the fluid should look. It should be bright red. I'm going to start this car. Right now, I have the machine in the bypass mode. This is our transmission fluid exchange machine. It's not really a flush. Um, it exchanges the fluid. It's, it's a little less intrusive than a flush. Um, so let's start the car. I'm going to leave it in bypass mode and we're going to look at the color of the fluid in the sight glass after it runs for about a minute or so. So the way I have this machine hooked up is it's hooked in line with one of the uh, trans cooler lines. So it's basically taking the old fluid out of the trans, putting it into a bladder, and then that bladder then pushes new fluid into the trans. Now I want you to look at the color of that fluid on the sight glass. It is absolutely black. So in a minute, I'm going to switch this over to process, and it's going to start doing its thing. And we're going to be able to actually watch the trans fluid change colors. But this, this is not how you want your trans fluid to look. This is borderline burnt. So uh, let's let it run a few minutes, warm up. We want to do this when the transmission's a little warm, and um, we'll go from there. Stay tuned. All right, so the car's been running for about 10 minutes or so. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch the knob over to process purge and I just want you guys to pay attention to the color of the fluid uh, as the time goes by. Um, now this all could be avoided if you just do a drain and fill on your car every 30 to 45,000 miles. The fluid will never get to this point so it won't require a flush. That's, that's ideally what you want to do. You never want it to get this dark. Because once it gets this dark, it loses its lubrication properties and it can start to damage things. So let's go ahead and flip this over to process purge and just watch the, the sight glass and we'll, we'll see the fluid change. Just switched it over now. All right, so the fluid flush, or whatever you want to call it, is done, exchange. Now you see the, the fluid now, it's nice and bright and red. This is really how it should look. Now like I said, this all could be avoided if you just drain and fill your trans every 30 to 45,000 miles. So uh, what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna shut the car off, we're gonna disconnect our lines, and we have a little additive that we add to these things. We use BG products. So that's gonna get added to the trans. I'm gonna to top off the fluid. They usually take about a half a quart because you lose the fluid that's in the lines. And uh, we're gonna go take the car for a ride. So uh, stay tuned. All right guys, so we're here on our 12 Sonata. We just did the trans service on. And basically, all we wanna do, make sure the trans shifts all right. Sometimes what you'll have to do is, uh, these transmissions learn things, they learn the viscosity of their fluid, and as the fluid degrades, they adjust line pressure in the trans to, you know, keep a smooth shift. Um, so every once in a while you'll get one that slams into gear, shifts hard, so all you'll have to do is go in with the scan tool and uh, reset adaptive values, but I don't like to do that right off the bat because that will also affect the shift points, like when the transmission shifts, 
that the car has learned the customer likes. And uh, people don't always like the way their car shifts after I reset the adaptive. So I always like to take it for a ride first. And uh, if I can get away with not resetting the adaptives, I will. Because like I said, it, it, some people just, they don't like the way their car shifts after. And it has to basically relearn everything that it had already learned over <clears throat> excuse me, the course of them driving the car. So uh, this car seems to be shifting good. I haven't gotten any downshifts yet. Once I come up to this stop sign up here, it'll start downshifting. I'll be able to kind of get a feel for it. But yeah, it feels fine. I think we're going to be all right with this one. I actually just put an engine in this car. This, uh, this car was under Hyundai's engine recall. Uh, so the engine was actually seized in this, so um, to that I said, well, Mrs. Customer, you're getting a, a brand new engine. Why don't we take the time to, you know, service your transmission and uh, make sure that's up to snuff for the next 80,000 miles that you're going to be able to put on your car with its new engine. And uh, to that, she didn't disagree. She uh, seems to take very good care of this car. It has new tires on it. It has new brakes. Uh, not that I put on or we put on, but, um, you know, some people care about their cars. You know, they keep their cars real clean. This car's very neat. Um, and other people don't, and you can usually kind of tell the people that don't take care of their car, you know, because they just, the car will be absolutely destroyed, and you'll try to recommend maintenance to them, and they'll just be like, no, I don't need it. It's okay. And uh, they'll, they'll literally drive their cars into the ground, but this car runs good. It shifts good. It's got a brand new engine, it's got a nice service transmission, and uh, it's ready to rock and roll for however long she wants to keep driving it. So again, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Um, I got more videos coming. We're going to be doing some coolant, and uh, we're going to be inspecting the suspension of the O, not the 05, that's my car, of the, the 98 Avalon that we purchased, and uh, we're just going to keep moving on so like i said like share subscribe and we'll see you on the next one